All right. Today is August 31st, 31st, 2023. I am Carlos Miguel, the advocate, and I am going to begin recording, uh, mm -hmm. providing evidence for the case, uh, the case of the Paracletas. And I am here to, to prove, to provide my evidence that the Paracletas is not the Holy Spirit like Christianity preaches and the Catholic Church also preaches that. Okay, I am here to provide the evidence, the clear evidence that the Paracletas, the advocate, that Christians call the comforter is not the Holy Spirit, but another man like Jesus, because that is what Jesus taught. Uh, I had these revelations in 2007, and it has been a struggle for me to get this out, to be able to do this. I have tried already one time on YouTube, but at the beginning I had a different, different state of mind. Uh, I, I didn't do it the way I wanted to do it. So I think now is the time for me to to do it the way I want to do it. I don't have a college degree. I am not a I am not a speaker. I, I really don't know how to put presentations together, but I'm doing the best I can. The you know the way I think that I should do it based with information that I have. Okay, with the knowledge of uh, speaking that I have, and the Catholic Church set themselves up as an authority, which no one set them up. Jesus did not set them up, okay? And after the Catholic Church, because out of the Catholic Church came the Christian Church, the Protestant Church, they set themselves up as an authority. Right now, the Christianity has around 39,000 denominations, okay? That means that means one, one thing only, it means contradictions, Okay, if you have 39,000 denominations, you have contradiction and you have one big contradiction, which is the Trinity versus the one, the one that's Pentecostals and the other people that do not believe in the Trinity and the other Christians who do not believe in, in like the Jehovah Witness and all those things. All right. So you have a great mess of confusion. Another thing is Jesus. Jesus very clearly said something and I'm going to show it to you now. All right. Um, I, I was feeling stressed. I, I've been feeling stressed, so I'm not going to be stressed. I just want to do this because it is time for this to... I want to get this over with and do it and present this information and and just see what happens. Because I know, I know that the world is waiting for this because it says it in all the books of religions around the world that the Messiah is coming. And it's not talking about Jesus flying in the sky, okay? That is fantasy. That is a fantasy that the Christ Christianity and the Catholic Church invented. Invented. They invented it. Um, you could call it mistranslation, whatever you want to call it, but that's what it is, okay? Now, this is this is the, the website that I use, um, the website that I use, which is studybible.info. I really like this website because they have a lot of tools here you know you could compare the bible with other bibles you have cross references you have the parallel bible advanced bible research books of the bible and you have all those things all right so this is my preferred tool when it comes to to research in the bible there's there's other resources out there that sometimes i use but this is my preferred tool to to study the bible okay now for this particular verse, I chose Matthew 23, chapter 23, verses 8 to 10, okay? And like I said before, Jesus never told anyone to go open up a church or become a church or become an authority like the Catholic Church or anything like that, okay? And this verse is the evidence, the proof that that's what Jesus said, all right? I chose this translation. I never used this translation before. To me, translations really don't matter. The thing when you read a, a, a translation of the Bible, it has to make sense. And you have to make sure, like you have to compare it to all the translations because all these books, all these translations and versions of the Bibles, 
only mean only one thing that Christianity and the Catholic Church did not do what they were supposed to do. Jesus says, you are brothers and sisters. You should be studying the, all these things together, not setting up your own churches, your own denominations, and things like that. But this is what we have, uh, uh, the, the, like the Babel, like the Tower of Babel, all these languages. So now uh, Jesus is telling them, okay, but you should not assume the title rabbi, okay? Rabbi is like for the Jewish, Jewish people, Okay, and you see, for only one is your teacher. So rabbi is like a teacher, and in the Christian, uh, the Christian side is pastor, the pastor. Okay, so Jesus said that, and all of you are simply, simply all this. In when you see the quotations here, means that whoever did this just added it for for enhancement or you know explanation. Okay, you are brothers. Okay. And do not call any man a nurse father. And over here he puts, that is in the religious sense, okay? Because that's what Jesus was talking because the Pharisees were like the same as the Catholics. They they like, they like love to be praised and to be called father and all those things, okay? So the Catholic Church is an, is an image reflection of the Pharisees. For only one is your father in heaven. Neither assume the title master. That is teacher, which is also here. In other verses, which I'm going to show you now, says leader. For one is your master, the Christ, which means the Messiah. Let me move my camera here and let's look for another. I'm going to show you one of my my favorite uh, translations of the Bible, which is the which is the Rotherham emphasized Bible. And then I put this up here. Okay, so we got here the Rotherham. Okay. And then it says, but ye do not do not be called rabbi, for one is your teacher, and you and, and ye are our brethren, and father be none of you call upon the earth, for one is your father, the heavenly, the heavenly father, neither be called leaders, for you for your leader is one, the Christ, the Messiah. So Jesus is clearly t telling them not to do anything like that. You know, having pastors and somebody calling somebody a pastor or a teacher or Jesus is telling you not to do that. Yet they disobey the word of Jesus and they did it. Okay. And that's why you have the mess. That's why you have the mess you have today. So you have the Catholic Church playing the role that they are the authority. That if you don't go through them, you don't go to heaven. Okay. Because that's the role they play. Then you have the Christians which tell you that if you're not a Christian, you're not going to heaven and all that nonsense, okay? I'm going to end all that. I'm going to end it once and for all. That's it. So this is what you have here. This is what you have now in the world. Billions of people believing lies. It's a disaster, a disaster. But, you know, that's the way life is. What are you going to do about it? Okay, now I'm making these videos, which is going to be a series of videos to prove that Jesus in John chapter 14, 15, and 16, because this is my, this is the center from where I will do everything. Okay. Because this is where Jesus spoke of sending the other at which the Catholic Church and the Christian Church say, that the advocate or the comforter, like they call him, is the Holy Spirit. And this is a lie, a big, big lie. Yes, a lie. Okay. And I am going to prove that this is a lie. And this makes no sense. It's like saying, I'm going to send the wind and the wind is the advocate. And the wind is going to tell you this and the wind is going to talk and the wind is going to do this. Okay, that's the same thing. Now, I'm going to take you to John. Let me see if I have it ready here. Yes, I do. Okay, to John 14, 16, and 17. <laughs> okay, and let me... No, that's good. Okay, all right. Now, <clears throat> you will think, you will think, I was born in Cuba. I was born in Cuba. English is not my, my first language. Spanish is my first language. But, you know, I know English pretty well because I came here when I was 10 years old. And you would think that American people, original American people, and people who have college degrees, masters, doctors, doctors, and all those things, that they would understand this, right? Because these are the educated intellectuals. You would think that these people 
understand what this says and they don't. I also want you to know for most people, I guess most Christians don't know this. Most Christians do not know that Muslims claim that Muhammad is the advocate. Amen. Yes, yes, they're the only other religion that claims that, Maha, that a man is the advocate. And that is good. That is good for me. Because when I had my revelations, I became aware that the first day I became aware that I was the advocate. And I had never known about this. I have never known anything about Jesus saying about the advocate or the word paracletus or anything like that. I had never known that. But in my revelations, without me knowing that, told me that I was this. And I looked for it right away. I, I found it. And I said, it's right here. And I understood what this says. So it had to be, you know, a revelation. It had to be something, something abnormal for me to know this because any other Christians, you read this and they will tell you that, th that this is the Holy Spirit. So, it, you know, my revelations were true. So when I started doing my research to confirm all these revelations that I was having, I had to confirm them with the Bible, make sure that it was true. That's when I found out, and I have some videos going way back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna upload them to YouTube later on. I, th I already, actually, I already uploaded one of them. Okay, so going, going way back, I found back then that the Muslims were claiming because I started to look for everything about this Messiah, this, this, this character that that was coming. So I found out that the Muslims were claiming that Muhammad was the paraclete, the paraclete. So the Muslims have done intensive research. They have done intensive research that helped me because I didn't have to do it. Research about the, the paracletes. Also, I have the video which I, I'm also going to post. I think it was in 2017 or 2019. I'm not sure now. Okay. It was around, it was in December around Christmas time, I think. And I was feeling, I was feeling down. I was feeling depressed because this thing, everything, ever since this happened to me, you know, it's like, it's like I'm the only one that knows this. And I have, I have found some people. There are, there are people around the world that know and believe that the Messiah is going to be a man that is going to be born on the earth, not Jesus coming, flying down. And there have been people who have claimed to be the Messiah, but they are not. They have never revealed this. They, don't, they didn't have any revelations. Some of them have died, so they were not uh, the Messiah. Uh, another thing is Muhammad. The, the Muslims do not understand this. Now is on the, I'm beginning to reveal this because Mus Muslims have never revealed this, so they didn't understand it. So Muhammad was not the one because he didn't reveal this. If Muhammad would would have been the advocate, he would have revealed this, and that would have been the end of it. Christianity would have... I guess accepted Islam or something, you know, but it didn't happen. And up to today, Christians are constantly debating, you know, uh, groups of Christians debating with Muslim Muslims about the the Paraclete that the Christians say the Paraclete is the Holy Spirit, and Muslims trying to convince them, tell, telling them that Muhammad is the 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 comfort, the comfort, the advocate, the Paraclete, and they get nowhere. They get nowhere because both of them are wrong. Okay. So I am here to level the playing field. All right. Yes. I say it like that because that's, that's what it is. If, if I wasn't sure of this, I would have never done this. I would have never, never do this because, you know, I don't, how am I going to know this if nobody even knows this, you know? So, okay. Let me, let me stop this recording. I don't want this to get too long and then I'll continue.